All right, this is grade three, module one, lesson eight, where we are going to be talking about the commutative property of multiplication and connecting the commutative property with skip counting and arrays. Now, the big and that is lesson eight. So now the big thing in uh, multiplication is, especially with skip counting and stuff, is when we say, let's say, we're going to skip count by fours. So we're going to do 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Okay? So we're skip counting by fours. And so traditionally speaking, I guess maybe as a convention, we would draw the array for this in like this. 1, 2, 3, 4... One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, oops, there, and one, two, three, four. So there's our array, and this is tradition, this is convention, there's no mathematical reason why we draw it this way, it's such that this is five groups, one, two, three, four, five groups, or five rows of four dots, all right? That's just tradition, in which case then we would uh, write this as five times four. So five rows of four dots equaling 20. Uh, you know, in other countries, uh, it is plausible that other countries may, may do everything in columns and say, well, you know, we're, we're going to see five, four, I mean, columns of four, one, two, three, 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 four. And in a lot of ways, that actually kind of makes more sense if you if you think about the num uh, skip counting. Here's four, here's another four, which is eight, here's another four, which is 12, then 16, then 20. So this kind of looks like skip counting, whereas in the American convention, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, it, it, I don't know, it just looks less like skip counting up here. Uh, so don't get all hung up if you have students who absolutely insist on drawing their um, arrays this way, as long as they can explain it and are talking about columns versus rows and everything is all good, I think mathematically that's, that's okay. Um, there is no mathematical reason why this student is going to suddenly be at a disadvantage in seventh grade compared to this student. All right, so don't get overly hung up on this. So in this problem, uh, we're asked to count by threes six times. So, okay, that's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. And if we were going to draw our array to match this count by, uh, traditionally, it would look like one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. And there is our traditional um, uh, array. Now, uh, if the kid wanted to rotate that 90 degrees, um, as long as he's consistent when he goes to this problem, that's, that's okay. So now let's take a look at that problem. So this next problem says, um, count by sixes three times. So that's 6, 12, 18, in which case traditionally we would draw that array like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and there is our array. Um, in each case, if we wanted to write down the multiplication problem, for that, um, traditionally, we would call this 6 times 3, as in 6 groups of 3, or 6 rows of 3. And over here, we would write 3 times 6, convention-wise, or traditionally. Uh, but keep in mind, if a kid wants to look at columns instead of rows, everything's going to be reversed. And that's, as long as the kid is consistent... Uh, you may have to consider that and let that kid think that way, particularly because they may come from a country where that is the common way to do it. Here, Ivana Ivania is recycling, and she gets three cents 
for every can she recycles, how much money does Ivania make if she recycles four cans? Well, in my mind, this is going to be 4 times 3, which is equal to 12 cents, because we have four groups of three pennies. Because every time you have a can, that's four, three pennies. So we have four groups of three pennies equals 12 cents. How much money does she make if she recycles seven cans? In which case, it's going to be seven times three is 21. In both cases, if students want to draw arrays or if they want to skip count, either way, they're perfectly welcome to do so. And that is Lesson 8.